What we'll be looking at here today is something that I believe um, it's like a, a miracle grower. Persons doing landscaping, for example, persons who had um, doing potted plants, etc., and, and seedlings, they would have purchased it, do make a blend out of it, and, and as their medium for the plants that they would use. Now, what we do here at the factory, we call it a mud mix. There are three components in there. Initially, to generate the, the, the filter cake or the, or, the, uh, or the pressed mud, we add the fiber gas to it, so it has that, it has that fiber in it. Um, we, at the, um, the stage where we are moving it from the process and moving it to a, a holding bear where we will pre prepare this mud mix, we then add some rotted bagasse. Bagasse that is rotted is breaking down, it breaks down very rapidly and that helps to be part of the, 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 the conditioning uh, medium for the, for the potting mix. Um, we also add some fly ash, some ash that is generated in the factory. The combination of those give us a, 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 a mud mix, which, which um, plants grow in it more or less like, like it's a Merkel grower after April last year. Several persons, several Barbadians would have been at home and they got to understand what the potential of this mud mix was like and that lots of persons, even if they wanted just 25 kilograms, 30 kilograms, a couple of bikes for example, they would come, purchase it and Within days, we would have had responses from them and lots of other persons respect to the quality of this material, how easily it is used and, and, and manageable, and the results that they get even in their backyard, the, the garden next to their house, or in the, um, the, the various potting systems that they had to do their vegetables and their herbs, etc. We, we, we buy it here. Um, people have been buying it as well as in um, bulk and large quantities but and that this year we intend to brand it so it wouldn't just be soil mix in a white bike from the factory here we are branding it this year and in a few months it should be available throughout Barbados as a miracle potting mix it's, a, it's organic and I think you'll love it and, and um, I, I believe we see a lot more people utilizing it as their potting mix and something that they're gonna have at their house around their home one of the things that we realized, and this, this, this was indicated by a biologist at the university who is propagating pineapples and, and developing pineapple um, in, in Barbados, and that he had said that this material, and in particular the, 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 the fly ash, the ash that we generate in the factory, that combination is excellent for the growth and propagation of pineapples, and that they had indicated this already, and it, he calls it his miracle grower because it, it does that much for him compared to most of the, of the other combinations that he'd use um, in potting mixes. I'm trying to make everybody know what's going on right now, pineapple could be here in Barbados. And right now, I extend in the pineapple farm so that other people can see that you use the, the pineapple that you cut off and plant, or you plant and get the plant from the pineapple itself. What I'm trying to do, I try to extend to other people how to plant them. You go to the factory and you get the factory mud and when you get the factory mud you use that and plant them. Don't use no other mud except from the factory. Anything you want your plant to grow good go to the factory. I send everybody to the factory and factory is the one that I want you all to go. The sugar factory is working now and you'll be able to get them by the bag so go out there and buy it and put your pineapple in there and by one year time you will get it beer. Mine is beer in less than a year. So I want you all to go to the factory. So all this variety I have is um, seven variety I have. And all if you could see the field, they are beautiful. Um, I got Hawaii, I got all different kind. So I want you all, if you want some plant, you could see me, call me and come and I will sell you some I have plant to sell to. So if you want to extend your own and you got a wasteland, come to me and call me and I will um, tell you how to plant them. Easy bush side, just cut down the bush side and plant and they can grow. They're easy to grow, just use the factory soil and do them. What I want people to do in Barbados, if they have about 10 people in Barbados like me, to cut down the bush side and start plant pineapple, you don't want to import so many pineapple. You import some when you don't have, 
But Bobby just could grow pineapple. The only guy to try it. I want you two all to look at mine and see what's going on. That pineapple will be here. All mine beer. Everyone, I have over 70, nearly 80 pineapple that beer right now. And I ain't seen you all in Bobby just do not cut a pineapple and throw it the top. Go to the factory, get a can, punch some wool in the bottom and start to plant. And when you start to plant, you're going to see the success in another year. And I want you all to do the same as what I do. I work and every day is my enjoyment when I come home from work. So I want you all to do the same. And, and I will show, if you want to know, I will show you how to plant them. Easy as that. I love to show people things. So I will show you how to plant them, but you must go to the factory, get the soil from there. One thing the monkey don't travel the pineapple because I don't know, but they don't travel them. But they travel every other thing that I got. But not the pineapple. So you could plant pineapple anywhere.